Shalom, Mosan Quest Bless. You are watching 15 Minutes with the Captain. I'm Captain Gideon, and to my right, and I'm Officer Bezalel. Uh, today's topic is obey the powers that be. One problem we have in our society is that we are very uh, reluctant to obey the powers that be. Because we feel like, oh, the system is against us, therefore we can't obey the laws. No, not at all. You're supposed to obey the laws. The laws, the penal system is called what? The judicial system, right? Which means they got all their laws from us. Don't kill is in the Bible. So it would behoove you to obey those powers. Right? So let's dive into scriptures. Um, we'll start at Romans 13. The book of Romans chapter 13 verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Now this chapter is very clear. Let every soul be, it be subject unto the higher powers. So throughout the world, you got governors, you have uh, president, you have police officers. The higher powers that are established on this earth, you must be in subjection to them. Why? Because it says there's no power but of God. All these people that are placed above us, guess what? It happened because of our own disobedience. And the Most High is the one that put them over us. So the Most High is saying now, obey them. Uh, give me uh, Daniel 4, 17. Daniel 4, verse 17. The book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. Who rule in the kingdom of men? That the Most High mm -hmm. ruleth in the kingdom of men. Read. And giveth it to who, whomsoever he will. So if Mosai rules in the kingdom of men and give it to whoever he wants. You understand Romans now? There's no power that are ordained that's not ordained but of God. Continue. And setteth up over it the basis of men. Who he set up over it? The basis of men. He said he bring the basis of men, the lowest men. He bring them and set them over us. Let's see why he did this thing. Go to Deuteronomy 28. And we're going to read verse... Uh, give me verse 15 so we can retain the thought and jump to 43. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to, to observe, to do all his commandments... And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, because we, if we don't choose, if we choose not to obey God, He was going to send curses upon us, right? Let's see one of the curses that He put upon us. Verse forty-three. Verse forty-three. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low who has done this the most high god because he ruled in the kingdom of men and he give it to whoever he wants so like he tell you he take the basis of men people that used to be under us but because we disobey his law they say you know what you're gonna serve them so he put he put the strangers that used to be our servants over us read he shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him he shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail so there you have it we are the tail today and most i say the romans Obey the powers that be. Okay? Um, get, go back to Romans. Because a lot of us, we have a we have problem with this chapter. There's no reason to have a problem with this chapter. Just follow the laws. Follow what Mosai says. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that, are, that be are ordained of God. Read. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. Whosoever resisted those powers, when the laws are set up, don't kill, and you go kill. Laws are set up, don't deal with drugs, you start selling coke, heroin, and do all that stuff. Setting up prostitution, becoming a pimp. You are resisting what? The ordinances of God. You hear people, nah, man, I, I hate the government, therefore, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But everything you're doing is also going against what Mosai decides, I mean, Mosai's um, decree as a law. So who are you really going up against? The Mosai God, because you're disobeying his laws. Read. 
and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works. Rulers are not what? For rulers are not a terror to good works. I'm going to show you something. Uh, let's, let's go to John chapter 19. Verse 4. The book of John chapter 19 verse 4. Pilate therefore went forth again and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Read it again. Let that sink in. Pilate therefore went forth again and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you that ye may know that I find no fault in him. So the strangers are supposed to say the same thing about us. They find no fault in us or what's written in Deuteronomy. Surely this is a wise and understanding people. We're supposed to have enough wisdom to understand that we cannot pick and choose what we want to follow in the Bible. The Bible says, obeys the power that be, obeys the power that be. Right? Give me 1 Peter 2.14. The book of 1 Peter, chapter, chapter 2, verse 13. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake. For whose sake? For the Lord's sake. Nah, man, I'm going to do me, man. For the Lord's sake. You can't do you. You got to do things that the Mosai says to do. So the Mosai clearly says, submit yourself to every ordinances of men for the Lord's sake. Read, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers. So the most I set up these people, kings, governors, police officers, you follow? Judges. For what purpose? For the punishment of men. For the punishment of men. So when you find yourself having that rebellious spirit, nah, nah, man, I don't want to obey no, no, no cop. I don't want to... You doing that to your detriment. You doing. You want to transport kilos of cocaine from Florida to New York. You're doing that for your detriment because you're doing something that the Most High is also against. Read. And for the praise of them that do well. If you do well, just like Pilate praised Christ, you're going to get praise of the same. But if you do wrong, guess what you're going to get? Punishment. Is that it on that? That's it. Uh, go back uh, to Romans. Read, start from verse 2. The book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 2. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So, they that uh, resist, as you keep resisting the powers that be, you want to keep staying in the corner and, and, and sell drugs. Usually what happened to you? You end up getting shot. You end up getting going to jail. Why? Because you are resisting the powers that be. The powers that the most are established on earth, you are resisting them. That should not be. Read. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Rulers are not what? For rulers are not a terror to good works. Rulers are not a terror to good work. You hold a job, you go, you do your own, you own your own business, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Ain't nobody bothering you. Paying your taxes, because you're supposed to pay tax. You can't cheat the system. That's another set of, of rules that are set in place. You gotta obey. You are in captivity. That's the part you don't get yet. Keep the laws of God. And in doing so, you're gonna have praise of the same. Read. But to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. So will you not be afraid of the power? Which power? Will you not be afraid of God? Will you not be afraid of the man that could actually take the basis of people and place them over you? Put you under subjection to them? Would you not be afraid of that power? But when we choose not to follow this chapter right here, that shows that we are not afraid of the power that be. We don't, we're not afraid of God. God is telling you, do this because I say so. Your feelings, how you think, is irrelevant. And that's the main problem we have in this society. We always think differently than what's written. We have to follow the Bible as it is written.
Read. Verse 4. For he is the, is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. So he's the minister of God to thee for good. I mean, as much as people talk trash about cops, really and truly, would you want to live in the projects and there's no police officer nowhere around, not even 911 you can call? Be honest with yourself. What life you think it would be? It would be total anarchy. Most I will never give you what you don't need. Apparently, he gave us laws to follow. We disobeyed those laws. We didn't want to do what was right. Therefore, he had to put others over us to keep us in check. Because we, can't, we, don't know, we do not know how to fix ourselves. The solution is right here in this Bible. But we refuse the Bible. So because we refuse the Bible, he said, you know what? I'm going to take the lowest common denominator being that was ever created. And make him the head over you. And I want you to obey him. Because I say it. So if you say you believe in God, if you say you trust in God, guess what you're going to do? You're going to obey the powers that be. Because if you choose not to, you're going to receive damnations. Read. Really? For he beareth not the sword in vain. He buried what not? Not the sword in vain. So back in the days, the Roman soldiers had swords, right? Today they got guns. They got Glock 19. They got Smith & Weston. Don't worry about how big or how fat they are. You make jokes or they eat donuts. Guess what? Their bullets are very fast. So it tells you, be afraid. They bear it not the sword in vain. Back in the days, they kept they, they walk around with swords. There was a time it was bayonet, bayonets and uh, um and, and little um small guns. Today they got big guns, Smith and Weston, Glock 19. And they are lethal weapons. Now we're not talking about certain injustice that is done. Because there's more justice that's done than injustice. When it comes to, you want to call uh, police shooting? Yes, certain times, they're totally out of order. But we're talking about dudes who choose to be rebellious and be drug dealers and be all kind of monsters in the street talking about, I'm doing this for my people. You ain't doing this for your people. You're selling drugs to your people. How can you be selling death to your people talking about you're doing it for your people? You are killing your people. That's why the Ku Klux Klan wrote a letter and thank all the gangbangers. For their service. Because you are not for the, your nation. I repeat. If you are gang banging. Drug dealing. You are not for your people. You are serving the same man. That the most I say be in subjection to. But in well doing. Meanwhile now you've been in subjection to him. In wrongdoing, And he's still going to kill you for doing his bidding. So think about that next time you want to sell drugs. You want to overseer for the white man. Read. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So he is a what? A revenger. Most I put that spirit in him to do the Lord's bidding. You want to be evil and sell drugs to your people? Most I send somebody to put two in your head or put you in jail for 10, 15 years. Why? Because you want it to be wicked. Obey the powers that be. Then you're going to have praise of the same. And if you do suffer, like the scriptures say, suffer for well doing. Don't think because injustice is done to you, but you was living a foul life, you're going to inherit eternal life because injustice was done. No. If injustice is done, let it be because you are about this Bible. Let, let it be because you're teaching the word of God. Read. Verse 5. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject. Not only for wrath. So don't just be in subjection because you're afraid of what might happen to you. But? But also for conscience sake. Because God says so. God said, obey the powers that be. So anytime you choose to go against the powers that be. You want to sell drugs. You want to bust shots. You want to do all kind of evil stuff. Guess what? You are disobeying God. Obey the powers that be because God said so. So if you say you believe in God, you're going to apply Romans 13. Meditate on that. Shalom. Shalom.
it's so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound art, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.